wrongfully convicted man enjoying his first taste of freedom in nearly 20 years. A judge vacating his murder conviction after a reinvestigation found it was a case of mistaken identity. With Thomas was arrested for the 2004 murder of a 14-year-old in East Flatbush, Brooklyn. So he was arrested for the 2004 murder of a 14-year-old in East Flatbush, Brooklyn. Thomas was arrested for the 2004 murder of a 14-year-old in East Flatbush, Brooklyn, based on a photograph of a different Sheldon Thomas. You can see the different Sheldon on the left, the Sheldon who was arrested on the right. When a detective told Thomas a witness had picked him from this photo spread, Thomas told the detective, that isn't me, according to... Oh, okay. Then, yeah, then that's wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he deserves that. He's not even on the... Yeah, he's, he's not, not even, even in the lineup. He's not even Okay, um, okay. okay. Heavyweight. Say now, um, let me see. Um, yeah, these these brothers though, but like, this is this is good though. They they gave brothers with hair, so it's like you can't say like they didn't put a brother up here with a bald head and another brother with a mohawk or no. Nah, you know, nah. Like, it's 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 a lot of guidelines to go to a uh, photo array, right? There's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of things that you gotta follow. They should have just locked them up in the hospital. They all look slow, slow. Like what the fuck? They all gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. It's it's so much shit that going to a photo array, man. It's crazy. This is this is the um starting um secondary for Alabama. Bro. Thomas told the detective that isn't me. According to prosecutors, the detective went ahead with the arrest anyway because he said his gut told him he had the right person. This is. Oh shit! <laughs> nah, you definitely can't say that shit out loud. Hell. Rest anyway, because he said his gut told him he had the right person. This is the first time in 25 years that I've seen an erroneous photo identification used as the basis for an arrest that actually went to trial. Well, hold Thomas. on, wait a second, man. <laughs> That's actually you're actually proving. Like you're not proving systemic racism. You're actually proving that there's not if, <laughs> a if that's common the event. First, if it's that's the first, first time. one in 25 years, then right. it's, it's the system is working fucking exemplary. Right. Yo, hey, I, 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 hey, I, I love the way you look at shit. I, I generally hey, I do, I do, I do, I do. Hey, but I listen. He did how many years? 18. Who that fat nigga? 18 years. How much money is he about to settle for? A million, maybe. I'd say he's a million. He a million. Nah, he's going to get more than a million. That's oh, what yeah. he would have made. He might have been dead, though. See, this is the thing about... That's what I'm saying. Man. Yeah, you're right about that. But I'm just saying, like, is his 18 years really going to waste? Because he's about to probably settle for about five to seven. And he would have never made that. He would have never time. been worth five to seven million dollars. He might. It he doesn't matter what he gets. He's gonna he blow it. I, it doesn't even matter what he gets. Yeah, if but he was fucking, out of jail, if he was out of jail for that eighteen years, he might have gotten rightly convicted for some shit. No, nah, he would have been dead. He would have been dead. Yeah. Or, or, or rightly convicted. Or rightfully. Or convicted. rightly convicted. <laughs> but he about to get five to seven mil for being the the the, the family fuck up. Right. And he'll blow it. I'm telling you right now, guys. I promise no. he's going to blow it. No, dude. He's going to get shot on the street if he's got that kind of money. He stays around no. home. I'm fucking dead. Okay, man. Detective went ahead with the arrest anyway because he said his gut told him he had the right person. This is the first time in 25 years that I've seen an erroneous photo identification used as the basis for an arrest that actually went to trial. Thomas said police had the wrong person, but he told the judge he does not hold on to anger. It was wrong. I didn't deserve what happened, and I forgive him. Thomas said what really troubles him now is the true killer of 14-year-old Anderson Bercy is still out there. And at this point, guys, prosecutors say the evidence is defective, so the true killer may never be known. And, and by the way, even Janae, the Brooklyn District Attorney's Office has 50 outstanding investigations just like this one. Cases it believes deserve a second look. Unimaginable. 18 years behind bars for a murder you didn't commit. You can't even imagine. Thank you, Aaron. Well, hey there. And both them women think that, like, this is common. Even though the DA, even though in the story, the guy said that this is the first time in 25 years he's seen a and, and they've got 50 out of what? A million a arrests a year? A Brooklyn, Brooklyn, literally, if it was its own city, would it be the second largest city in the country? 